A new business is stirring things up in the town of Upland. The Bridge Cafe took over the old tire shop on Main Street, breathing new life into downtown. Owner Kathy Curtin Johnson knows the entire community helped get her dream off the ground. We actually ran a Kickstarter campaign, um, which um, we just were trying to raise $5,000, and it was a great way to see if the community really bought into the idea, and it was a really amazing success. When work began last January, both the materials and the labor grew right here in Grant County. We had a lot of people in the community who offered to help with the construction and, and kind of um, making the tables and you know all kinds of different skills. We even had students from Iru and Taylor painting inside and so it was a real community effort. Naming her cafe The Bridge was more than just symbolic for Kathy. Instead, she wants to connect people who wouldn't normally mix. One of her employees, Caroline Nurkula, sees this happening. I think that this is really cool that we've started this new business and that we're using like local people, which includes students from Taylor and Iwu and then other like local kids. And a coffee shop has always traditionally been that kind of place, even historically, you know, where um, people from different places, backgrounds, walks of life can come together and it's just really neutral. We have a kind of global background, having lived in three countries. Um, and I've always had a passion for global cuisines. Um, and so what we're trying to do here is offer a menu that has a little bit of a taste of um, global cuisine without it being too challenging for the American palate. <laughs> the cafe also bridges the past with the future, the arts with everyday people, even the global with the local. I have, a, I have this problem where I see old buildings and I want to fix them. It's kind of like some women have a shoe problem, I have a building problem. <laughs> so, there's a lot of buildings downtown here that I just see them and I think they have so much potential. So we kind of wanted the bridge to also be a celebration of the, the talents that are in our community and bring those together and showcase them. The other thing that we really want to grow is um, the availability of what I call global local, which is um, special foods from around the globe that are grown in specifically local areas. So what I would love is to have a range of um, the best of local from different global areas and have that available here too, so that we're getting the best of both worlds. We do our best to get stuff from suppliers around here. Like our coffee comes from the Abbey and Hubbard and Cravens, which is Marion and Indianapolis respectively. And then most of the wood, the furniture and stuff is, was either made or purchased locally. And we try to cook things on site, so homegrown. A place where all kinds of people meet means each visit is unique. And I really wanted it to be a place where you feel like you can relax and stay here for three hours and you're not, you don't have to rush anywhere. And um, I think that's something unique that people are looking for. As the bridge continues to celebrate the talents and strengths of the Grant County community, their customers will respond in turn by showing up for delicious coffee, fresh burgers, in an atmosphere that feels like home. For Crossroads, I'm Ryan Flaherty.